Hi, and thanks for clicking on the video. Those of you that follow me on Facebook and Instagram probably know by now that I've bought myself yet another arrow rest. Now, the reason for that is when you're shooting indoor, outdoor, and field archery, you don't always necessarily want to shoot exactly the same arrows for each one of those. So with indoor season coming to an end here in Australia, I'm pretty much at the point where I need to change my bow back to shooting the skinny arrows for outdoor. And what I thought was there's got to be an easier way than retuning the bow each time. So after doing a bunch of research online, asking on forums and putting the feelers out, I found myself sort of steered in the direction of the spot hog edge swap rest. Now looking around, they are available retail here in Australia. Um, I was lucky enough to find a secondhand one again. And those of you that watch my videos definitely would know by now that I'm a bit of a bargain hunter when it comes to buying secondhand archery equipment. So what I wanted to do in this video is basically just a quick what's in the box, how does the system work, and wrap my head around it so that when I start installing it on the bow, I know exactly what it is that I need to do. So while I'm doing all of that, I thought why not give you guys a look as well and we can do sort of a mini review of our initial impressions of the Spot Hog Edge Swap. So I'll get the camera closer so you can see what I'm seeing and basically from there we'll sort of talk through what's in the box. So this is the box that the Edge Swap ships in and as you can see, as is normal for Spot Hog, it is made out of their usual nice thick hard plastic that looks after your gear very, very well. The other thing to note as well is that it does have provision here and here for padlocks. So if you're paranoid about people mucking around with your setup when you're not looking, you can lock it up in here and know that nothing's going to be changed without your permission. So let's open up the box and have a look inside. And as is normal for Spot Hog, it's got the nice foam in there that's been laser cut so that everything fits in perfectly. Now just remember this one is second hand so there are a couple of marks here and there that you're going to notice. If it was brand new it wouldn't have those. Um, so the first thing we find in the box is the instruction manual and part of that is also a list of what's included in the case. So I'm not going to read the instruction manual to you but I'll hold it up here on the screen so that if you're interested you can pause it and then you can have a read for yourself. And then on the back page, we've got the rest of the instructions as well. And I'll just quickly move it slowly so that if you're interested, you can have a read of that yourself as well. So what's in the box? What we should have is a rest body. And there's actually two of them, hence the swap. The mounting bar. And normally the Spot Hog Edge Swap will come with either a long or a short mounting bar. This being second hand, I got pretty lucky. The previous person did buy both bars, um, which saves me a little bit more money in the long run. Then mounting bolts as well. And these are these ones here, your normal mounting bolts that you use to mount your rest to the bow. We also have lockdown knobs. And these are what you're going to be using when you're changing the heads over to secure it to the mounting bar as well. The other thing that we have is obviously the blades. Now each one of these already has a blade on it and the spare blades are in this little Ziploc bag here as well. So what we can do now is take all of the components out, have a good look at them and uh, see what the quality is like. So the lockdown knobs are nicely machined they're actually not plastic they're made out of the same metal that the rest of the rest is made out of as well the threads on these look really good um, that's something to consider if you do buy secondhand stuff that has screw threads and things like that if the person before you wasn't very careful you could end up buying stuff where the screws have been stripped so if you're not sure ask them for photos close-ups of the bits and pieces but anyway the machining on these look really good. The finish of the, I'm guessing they're anodized black, looks really good as well. So let's put those over there. Now the next thing we can look at are the mounting bolts that mounted to the bow. It comes with two, because there's two of these. I'm only going to need the one, but a really cool 
little feature is the fact that they have thread protectors on them as well. So as you can see here, these uh, silicon thread protectors so that they don't get damaged while they're stored in the case. So those can go over there as well. Now obviously we have the spare blades, there should be two in the pack, which there are. And these blades are in fact uh, 0.008 in size, so they can go over there as well. So the next thing I wanted to look at is the mounting bars that mounted to the bow and as is normal for Spot Hog, you'll notice that the quality on them, the machining, the finish, everything is pretty much perfect. The cool thing that makes the swappability um, consistent are these two little locator pins here, and I'll show you how they work in a minute. Now, as I said, this being the second hand one, it did come with both the long and the short mounting bar. Um, and if you were going to be buying this new, you just have to decide for yourself which one is the one that would be right for your setup. So that's pretty cool. Now, the last thing that we have to look at are the heads themselves. So I'll take one of them out of the packaging and you can see the foam fits it pretty much perfectly, which is awesome. And then we'll have a look at the head itself. So this one's already got the blade attached. This is the 0 0.010 blade. These are the two little screws that hold it to the head, as you can see. Let's see if we can get this to focus better for you. And so as far as the markings and things on the rest are concerned, it's the usual spot hog stuff. If you've ever had a look at the hog father or the Fast Eddie XL, you'll recognize these adjustment marks straight away. Now everything's nicely labeled, so you know which way things are gonna move when you turn each screw. And this adjustment here is for the blade angle. This adjustment on the side here moves the windage left and right. And then you have this one here, the screw's actually underneath and that one does the elevation for you as well. Another cool little feature, a little brass washer here so that you don't wear out the metal when you're putting the um, lockdown knob into the rest itself. And the micro adjustability is the same micro adjustable um, system that Spot Hog usually uses on all of its stuff. So this one, has already been engraved with an eye for indoor. Previous owner did that. It's gonna be convenient for me then as well, just to know which one's for which discipline. Then we have the other head. We'll just have a quick look at it because it's exactly the same as the previous one. You got the same adjustments and markings and all the rest of it. Everything's clearly marked, everything's you know, well machined, the finish on everything is really, really nice. And this one's marked with an O for outdoor. Now, if you bought them new, they won't have those markings on them. If you decide you need to, you can do that for yourself. Um, but as you can see, this one's exactly the same as that one, which is awesome. Now, as for fitting it to the bar is concerned, like I said before, you've got those two little pins on the bar and they will line up perfectly with the two little holes in the rest body. And there's not really much play in that at all. Um, there's a little bit of a wiggle, but I think if I actually put the lockdown knob in, yeah. That's perfectly secure. There is absolutely no play in that system whatsoever. And you can get some nice leverage on that lockdown knob because of the coarseness of these um, stick out bits there like that. So you can make sure that it's perfect, perfectly tight and it's not gonna come loose while you're shooting. So, Give you guys a bit of a look there from all the different angles. 
I'm not sure whether I'm going to be using the long bar or the short bar. Um, I'm shooting the Proforce. So if any of you guys out there are shooting a Proforce and you are using the edge swap, let me know whether you're using the long or the short bar for mounting it on the bow and which one you think is going to suit it better. Um, overall, first impressions of this rest is that like all spot hog gear, it's built tough. It's <laughs> a lot of people refer to their stuff as bulletproof. Um, now, I wouldn't try shooting it with my rifle, but it is looking like it's going to suit what I need it for perfectly. So I'm not going to go through the process of actually putting it on the bow, setting it up and all of that today. Um, that'll be a video that comes out in the future. So if you guys are interested in seeing this rest get installed on the Proforce, remember to come back and check out my other videos. So that's my first look and initial impressions of the Spot Hog Edge Swap and I hope that this video has been educational for you guys as well. For those of you that may be thinking about getting the Edge Swap but you're not really sure if it's the right rest for you or if it does what it's supposed to or you know anything like that, um, come back and watch the next video where I actually install it on the bow and start using it and you'll get an even better idea whether or not it's the rest for you. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Leave a like or a comment below. Remember to click on the subscribe button if you've not already done so and click the little bell icon so you receive a notification each time I upload a new video. I hope you guys all have a great week and remember just do good shots.